Hello everyone, I am Sohra from Agrim Staff and today I want to show you how you can use OpenNC file tool to extract data from the GPCC NetCDF files. Uh, this uh, tool have two uh, tab. The, um, this tab is for rectangular region extraction and this is for station extraction. It means uh, points, any station is points to use the station you should use this icon and the, for rectangular region the second icon that you should use this is gpcc data and i want to select it this is monthly data of gpcc precipitation it is a warning and it's not important it means uh, you don't have you will uh, you will not have some information here and this is the content of your file you have several variables latitude longitude time and precipitation the tool should find the name of lat and lon uh, if the tool cannot find you should enter the name of uh, variable of latitude and longitude here uh, precipitation have uh, three dimension uh, one of the dimension is time as this is the uh, cell number of the file start from one and count these numbers to extraction it means all of the time dimension uh, i want to uh, enter the enter a station manually but you can use you can fill the list of a station by using the file this is latitude of Seoul station. This is just for sample. Okay. Now I should uh, enter the name of main variable that I want to extract. This is percip. Okay. You can check the um, using progress bar, but because I have one station, it's not important it uh, decreased the speed of extraction you can check fill table checkbox if you didn't check the fill table checkbox you you can save the data after extraction in excel and view it on excel the extraction is complete You can view it here. You can save all the data in Excel or CSV or other format. Now I want to use the second tab. So I should use the second icon in top bar. This is warning. I should uh, enter the boundary coordinates. It means a start of latitude, minimum latitude, maximum latitude minimum longitude and maximum longitude uh, the name of variable is perceived i will check the progress bar because we have four grids in this region i should fill table and also sometimes you can use this but if you face to error and the tool cannot uh, read it uh, we, uh, you have a uh, three dimension data latitude longitude and time uh, we want to show the three dimension in a table so we should convert it to two dimension uh, we have two style to show this. This is the first style that uh, we show. Check the headers to know about the style. And this is a style two. And longitude is in a horizontal, latitude in vertical. And each table is about one time. now i want to extract based on the style one and this progress bar will work based on the region we have four grid cell in this region so the progress bar will change four times 
Okay. The extraction is complete. This is a decimal value of latitude and longitude in header here. For this file is uh, one or two is enough, but sometimes in some files, you should increase it. This is the data and we can save the data in Excel or CSV and view it. Now I am using a style two to extraction. It takes a bit time. Okay, this is the data based on style two. You can save in Excel and complete. This is time one, time one, time two, time two, and let longitude and latitude in vertical. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel to get more video about the tools. Bye.